Google makes it easy to find coupons. There's an iPhone virus that gives you more than just a Rickroll and why you should not click on a bikini-clad woman on Facebook. It's Tuesday, November 24th. I'm Natalie Del Conte. It's time to get loaded. Google is making it easier to get coupons on your mobile phone. If you're searching Google on your phone, the company will bring up coupons from local retailers if a retailer has added any. Good to poke around with as Black Friday is just days away. A new iPhone virus is not quite as funny as the Australian Rickroll virus from last week. This one uses command and control like a traditional PC bot to steal all of the data from your phone. The threat is pretty serious, but only if your iPhone or iPod touch is jailbroken. If it's not, you should be free and clear of the threat. So think twice before you jailbreak your gadgets. If you were affected by this weekend's eBay outage, you are due an account credit. Listings were down this week due to an influx of activity that crashed the server. Guess eBay wasn't all that ready for the holiday shopping season just yet. Of course, they insist that they are now. AT&T is launching a new mobile 3G plan for your laptop that does not necessitate a $60 per month two-year contract. You can now pay $15 per day, $30 per week, or $50 per month. The data caps are lower though, so this is not for the power user, just anyone who wants to get online every now and again. Barnes & Noble is going to disappoint a lot of people this holiday season. The much-anticipated Nook has been delayed in shipping until at least January 4th. The company said no one will get the e-readers before Christmas. Sony is also reported to be having manufacturing issues on their daily edition of the e-reader. This marks a huge blow to early adopters and gives Amazon the advantage this holiday season. AOL is set to spin off from Time Warner on December 10th, and part of the unveiling is that the company has announced new branding. Take a look. The new AOL will do away with the familiar triangle and uppercase letters. Instead, it will officially be branded by capital A, lowercase o, and L, followed by a period. My spell checker? Not gonna like this one. If you see a bikini-clad woman on your Facebook wall asking if you want to see something hot, do not click, no matter how much you do in fact want to see something hot. The woman in question is a worm. If you click her, she'll get posted on your wall and initiate a chain of reactions on your behalf. The more you click her, the more she'll get all over your wall, your friends' walls, etc. Facebook is looking into getting rid of her. Wikipedia seems to be losing editors faster than ever before. A new report suggests that more than 49,000 editors left the English version of the site in the first three months of this year, compared with only 49,000 in the first quarter of last year. Why? The Wall Street Journal is speculating that it could be caused by new rules and regulations or it could just be burnout, policing the same content over and over again. Still, the site has over 3 million active contributors, so it can't be that bad. Those are all your headlines for today. I will see you tomorrow with more. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and you've just been loaded. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.